This is gonna be weirder than usual. Can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that... I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like... We live in a room. And there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it and we think that's the whole world. The room. And the poster. The picture is something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie. What is it called? The prison movie. The room's a cell. And the picture, it's different. For each of us, it can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie. It's something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We're lying to ourselves. The room is not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Oh, this girl is such shit, man. Why did you bring me here? Hello? Anyone here? This is a weirdly creepy room. Like. Bathroom. Mm -hmm. Need something special for me? Can't do anything but run and jump. All these years, I've been looking for them, and they were hiding in plain sight. Security order. What? I'm really not get. Oh, Excuse me? The building changed. 
And yes, I'm aware. I hear the guy. I'm not crazy now. Right? The building changed. There was a hallway here. I came from a hallway. That's kind of creepy. Mm-hmm. Whatever. I guess I'll pursue this. Hello? Oh, yeah. Oh, a fucking cowboy? But also, looking around this... What fucking time period is this? This looks like technology from like the 60s. Hey, excuse me. Uh, hello, weirdo. There you are. You are here about the job. Janitor's assistant. You need to go to the interview. Go that way to my left. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm Ahti, the janitor, by the way. You work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, Peter, you are no element. There be work for the axe. Take them behind the sauna, you hobbled. I've done enough night shift loaner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Ahti the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Better than somebody with no face at all. <laughs> Think about it. No face. But that said, I know what you're thinking. If there's an axe murderer around, that's him. Uh. Hold on a second. Through here. This was closed. Okay. I totally came from that direction. So I came around this corner. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to watch that fucking footage back myself because I'm. I'm kind of legitimately confused. I couldn't go in any of these rooms, anyway. That fucking show wasn't there. I definitely didn't pass him on the way in. But this is the same entrance area, right? Like, this is the bathroom? The fuck? Yeah, stop doing drugs. Don't do drugs, kids. Alright. Let's... The cell and the poster. I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? I wasn't expecting her monologue throughout this game. It's kind of interesting. And also, why does she look like she's dressed modern day, but the rest of this shit looks like it's like 60s? This is also a kick ass opening. I love like neo noir sci fi shit like this. <laughs> Where there's just gonna be like crazy, weird, bizarre shit going on as you get deeper into it. When I looked up reviews of this, some people compared it to uh, like SCP containment or whatever the hell that game is, where it's just like a bunch of weird artifacts and like creatures that are like locked in a facility being kept safe away from everybody else. Control. Cool. Let's get her. Did I lose you there for a moment? No. You know what's on my mind. No. My baby brother, Dylan. What? 
No, I didn't know that. I never met you, but how would I know? The men of this bureau took him. Never known your baby brother. That is such a weird bit of dialogue. You know what's on my mind. No, <laughs> I don't. I just met you like a literal couple Starting minutes ago. Oh, fuck you, Stan. Okay. <clears throat> Mission. Welcome to the oldest house. Man, <laughs> I gotta say it's really trippy how old looking this building is. I mean, I guess they call it the oldest house, but it looks like... Is this house just like not updated? With modern technology? Wait, what the fuck is that? Oh, that was that, but through the wall. Towards the door that had something banging on it. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Something's out. You want me to pick it up? The murder weapon? Really? What? Bitch, who are you talking to? Something in your head? What the fuck is this cat? Results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. <laughs> Just choose to be the chosen Where one? Am I? This is all flash none of the above. These are the concepts, tattoos we see in our minds. Service web oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Sir, the fuck? Whoa, the same gun control of the gun slash house. Choose to be chosen. Service weapon. Whoa, okay. Damn, man, I like this gun.
huh? We wield the gun, you. The board appoints you. Congratulations, director. Something's coming. This threat. An attack. Duty as director. Keep the bureau safe. Did you hear that? It's the dead man. Right after the pyramid spoke to me, and it was just noise, and I understood every word. And this gun's alive. You know what? I'm happy. Happy to be here. <clears throat> Things have quieted down outside. Is it safe to go? Oh, Jesus. Uh... Pretty sure being the director should give me access to every fucking room in this building. The hotline. Secure line of communication. Guide us. an unanticipated building shift follow these simple steps one search the room excuse me altered items or objects of power me two, carry the altered item or object of power to the nearest safe room three wait for bureau staff to find you and the object what the fuck if there are no altered items or objects of power in the vicinity then reach your supervisor via the nearest intercom and await further instructions. Objects Thank of power. You I hate to move on knowing that I could get in that room, but it's not going to let me. A hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. A hiss burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our who the fuck are you talking to? It burns in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. Okay. That's a thing that's happening. Mm -hmm. There must be real quiet music if I can't hear it in the next room at all. You know what? 
Again, I don't know if I'm supposed to be killing these people, but... The other people were dropping down from the ceilings and shit, so... I'm assuming that these people are just enemies. Astro? I can hear you. Uh, I'm something, baby. I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope, Emily Pope, and Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? <clears throat> Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. You're the new director. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Director, Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow this hostile force, this hiss. The fuck you wearing, Tracer? Somehow the Hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The Hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Yeah, he is. Ah, uh, I found himself. his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. Hey, this is fucking about who? unbelievable. She's talking to somebody. I can't even... Is she talking to me directly? Look, Jesse, I have a million questions. Like, does she know... Is that, is that the super more. meta of this game? Is that she knows she's I being controlled? My brother Dylan? Not yet. 
But there's something I need to ask you to do first. Is she gonna if do this through the whole game? A control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't need to hear her every inner thought. Her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the bureau she's a part of. You could kiss her. Yes. That would get to the bottom of this. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. Oh, so she is talking directly okay. to me. You with me? We did it before. Push the hiss out. Push the hiss out of where? Here, go back here. No? Do I have different outfits? Uh, uh, what? <clears throat> so... Cleanse the hiss, corrupted agent. Her? Ripping it out rips them apart. Okay. Jesse, over here. We need to make a plan, Jesse. I can't cleanse them. I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen, the Bureau was involved in an incident in my hometown, Ordinary, 17 years ago. The Bureau yeah. came in hometown's and Hometown's name is Ordinary? That is so stupid. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. <laughs> Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I'm your boss. I'm the fucking director. I was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us. Or a few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench. The ghost, or whatever he is. He mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun. An old Bakelite telephone. A direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mail room. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. They call me the director. But that's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Why am I here? I think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons, too. 
I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. Magneto. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. A ringing phone must be answered. An object of power. <clears throat> Look, I know this is all Come new on. to you, so don't hesitate to ask me anything you want to know. There are no... The hotline should be in the communications department. Huh. Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. <clears throat> Just let me know. Alright, guys. That was the first look at uh, Control. Uh, that's really cool. I like, where it, I like the idea of it, where it's going. I'm going to leave this one here, but if, I, if you want to see any more of it, I guess leave a like or comment. Yeah. Catch you guys later. Peace.